We get hurt so much because we're trying to make somebody be who they don't want to become. We're trying to make someone be who they don't want to become. Let's take it a step further. Sometimes we're trying to make somebody be who they ain't even capable of becoming. And then we get let down when they don't live up to that. We get let down when they don't meet the unfair potential that we put on them, that we see in them. And I know you see the good in the person, but again, you got to start seeing the truth in the person. I want people to come together, man. Your perspective can either be your power or your prison. Love each other, man, period. At the end of the day, we all go into the same place, straight up. They came ready. Y'all came ready. Hey, what's good, y'all? Trent here. Uh, today... I got a message and I got to give a disclaimer. Like, I want to just start off by saying this. I'm not telling you to like, I don't want you to overthink because of this conversation. Like, you know, when you have somebody in your life that's for you, you know, when you have somebody in your life, or at least you should know that really got your back, right? Like they ain't going to be perfect. You know, I always tell people this truth. Like you can't expect a perfection that you can't provide. And what that means is that sometimes we try to hold people around us to a standard that we don't even live up to. You know, sometimes we hold people to a standard that we ain't even give them that standard. Right. And we kind of become hypocritical. You know, we want something that we don't want to give ourselves or live ourselves. So I'm not trying to make you overthink something because somebody made a mistake. Yeah, maybe they made a mistake that wasn't right. But you know if somebody really rock with you. You know if somebody really care for you. Right? You should know that. I always say this. People ask Trent, like, how do I know? One of the first things is if you're consistently questioning it. Like if you can if they give you questions all the time, right? If you got to question their loyalty, you got to question where they stand in your life, right? You got to question. You know who they are. You got to question if they real. You got to question if they talking behind your back. You got to question if they really for you. Like if you always questioning it, it's a reason. They've given you a reason to question it. So I tell people all the time, like sometimes we don't want to believe it because we care for that person, because we want to we want to see that person in a different light. We don't want to lose that person. There's a lot of things we like about that person. So sometimes we become oblivious. We become blind to what's in front of our face. And so my thing that I tell people when they ask me that question, if you're always questioning it, right? If you're consistently wondering if they're for you, then you have your answer. So I'm telling you, like, you know, I, I'm not telling you to, to, to paint a picture of a person that really is for you, that really got your back. But you know if somebody really isn't for you. And I want to talk about that today. Like a big part of moving on with your life, because let me tell you something. Like I don't believe in building walls. I never build walls in my life. I believe in bridges. Like I want to connect with people. I want to do dope things with people. Like I don't like building walls, but I always say I don't build the walls. People build me, build them for me, right? For somebody that's done me wrong over and over and over, they built that wall. I didn't build that wall. Right. I gave him access to my life. You know, some of y'all think y'all cold hearted because somebody else built the wall. That person is trying to make you feel cold hearted because they built the wall. They try to make it seem like you built it because you stop accepting it because you stop allowing it. So they try to make you feel guilty for, quote unquote, you know, giving you credit for a wall that they built based upon their actions or lack thereof. And so a big part of moving on with your life, because sometimes we really get confused. And this right here, like changed my life when it came to dealing with people in my life. Like this is a game changer, but some of us, we don't do it because we want to keep certain things in our life for certain reasons. Maybe they're a good opportunity. Maybe they're a popular person and they have connections for you. But at the end of the day, they really aren't for you. You have to start Trusting people for who they are. One of the best ways not to be, I'm going to just tell you right there. One of the best ways to be let down is not trusting somebody for who they are. 
Like when somebody sh- has shown you who they are, as we as they always say, you got to believe them. When I think about my life, the times where my heart was broke, the times where I felt let down, the times where I felt betrayed, is because I chose not to see the writings on the wall. It's because I chose not to, to believe what they were actually showing me. It's because I chose to stay blind to the reality that was right in front of my face and I wanted to create my own reality, right? My own reality of that person. I wanted to stay locked into that no matter what they were showing me. And a lot of us, we are there. Like we will ignore the reality. You know what I mean? Like I get it's hard to move on from people. It's hard to move on from things, but it's really not hard. Like when somebody has showed you the reality, like the crazy thing is, is that sometimes we ignore the reality so much that we stay stuck in a place or on a person that has already moved on from us because we have ignored that reality, right? The reality is some people have moved on from you. Some people don't give a damn about you. Some people could care less about you. Some people are talking behind your back. Some people are gossiping on your name. Some people ain't defending you. And some people, the hard truth to swallow with that, some people don't give a damn if they do because they know that you're going to keep ignoring that reality. They know that you're going to keep accepting less. They know that you're going to keep accepting the bare minimum. In the times in my life where I let myself down, where I let myself down is when I didn't want to believe the reality, right? And I wasn't trusting people. And this is the big thing, y'all. I wasn't trusting people for who they are. And this is something that, like, this is why I want to make this, this episode. Like, just to tell you this, this will change your life when it comes to the inner relationships in your life. It will change your life. It will help you keep people in your life that kind of ain't good, It will make you keep great people in your life. And most of all, it will keep you from being let down for the most part, right? Sometimes we still get let down, but it'll keep you from being hurt so much because you have certain expectations. And I know expectations can sometimes be a negative thing, but when you have positive expectations, like you know who a person is, you don't expect this from them, you expect this from them, like you know exactly who they are. And that is something that a lot of people don't do and they never move on from certain situations in their life and they stay stuck in places of hurt, they stay stuck in places of pain, they're always let down, they're always broken hearted because you trust in a person to be something that they not. You giving somebody... You expecting somebody to bear a responsibility that they don't want. And at some point, and I know some of y'all might not like when I say this, at some point, it's not on them no more, right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you, right? At some point, when they have consistently been this person, they showed you that they are this person over and over and over and over and over. And I can keep doing affinities over because that's how many times they showed you that who they are. But you chose to believe that they somebody different. You chose to believe that they they the person that ch- from 10 years ago. You chose to believe that they the best version of themselves because they only gave a little bit of the best version of themselves. But really, they were always negative for 99% of the time. But you chose to stay there and you chose to, to believe that. But they've shown you who they are. So. The thing that 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 I realize when it comes to expectations, expectations can let you down, but also expectations can save you because you're not expecting nothing different than what they have showed you. And the thing that I want to tell you right now, and I just can say this, if you want to change your life and not be let down as much and not be broken hearted as much. Like lower your expectations for some people, raise your expectations for some people. And I'll just tell you this, start trusting people. Hear me this, start trusting people for who they are. Start trusting people for who they have showed you they are, for who they're choosing to be, for who they consistently show up as. Trust them, not for what they pretend to be sometimes, 
not who they show up hardly never. Trust them for who they consistently are. And when you do that, you don't have a different expectation for them. So for example, I've had people in my past, right, where I told them like my 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 deepest secrets, you know, and, and um, they ain't that deep, but when I told them things that I didn't want the world to know. I told them my struggles. I felt like they were a safe place that I can bring this information to. And over time, I would hear like things get back to me that I only told them. Side note, if you want to see this is if you want to see who's telling your business, tell your three friends that you're telling your business to three different stories and see which story comes back to you. All right. That's a side note. Then, you know, who's a chatty patty. Then, you know, who's a gossiping Bob, right? Gossiping Greg is probably a better word. So for me, I realized like certain things would come back to me and I had the viewpoint of this person like, nah, this person's solid. Nah, this person would never do that. You know, this person tell, told me stuff that I ain't never opened my mouth with. I ain't never snitched on. And so I know this person really got my back. I know this person got love for me, right? Because I was so wrapped up into just, that's my dog, right? That's my guy. That's my person. And over time, as I started to tell him more information, then that same information will get back to me, but not from him. And so I started to realize, oh, this dude be running his mouth. Oh, this dude be actually spreading, you know, not gossip because it's real, but spreading private information, right? Our, 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 our private conversations, right? Our, our private conversations became public information. And I know a lot of y'all can relate to that. And so I realized over time, right? So he showed me who he was. So in that moment, I had a choice. I had a choice to believe that was the reality or I had a choice not to believe it. And for a little bit, I chose not to believe it because I was so wrapped up into, you know, this is my friend. This is my homie. This is my bro. This is my dog. You know, they would never do that to me. Never do. I was so wrapped up in seeing the good in the person that I was becoming blind to the truth in the person. I was so wrapped up in seeing the good in the person. I know a lot of you do that. You so wrapped up in seeing the good because the good is good. You so wrapped up in seeing the good in the person that you start to ignore the truth in that person. You start to ignore the reality that they showing you. And that was me. And I kept bringing my private information to this person. And then it got to a point where I got pissed off. I was mad. You know, I confronted the dog, like, bro, like, what's up? And of course, he denied it at first. But then I realized over time, I knew this dude and I knew he did it to other people in the past. So I knew that this is who he was. You know, he's, he, he spreads gossip. He can't retain his information. He got to tell somebody. He got a pillow talk. And so why would I expect him to be something that he's not? Why would I be, why would I expect him to be somebody who don't run their mouth when I know for a fact they run their mouth? And that's the problem. A lot of us want to believe something different than what they're showing us. And at some point, that ain't on them no more. That got to be on you like that was on me. And so what I did was I labeled that person for who they were. So that person to me, he a gossiper. He run his mouth. He pillow talk. He tell business. He can't keep secrets. And so that's who that person was. There are a lot of great things about the person. But I stopped giving him the opportunity to let me down. And some of you watching me right now, you need to stop giving the person the opportunity to let you down. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the more chances you give, the more hurt you receive. The more chances you give, the less respect they'll have for you. So it got to come to a point like I did where I said, I'm not giving no more chances for this dude to let me down. There's a lot of great qualities about the dude, but this he got a problem with. 
So what do you think I stopped doing? I stopped bringing my secrets to the dude. I stopped bringing my business to the dude. And I trusted him for who he was. He was a gossiper. And so in your life, there might be somebody in your life that lies all the time, like a habitual liar, just lie about everything, lie about what they doing, lie about this. We all know those people that just be telling lies all the time. When you trust somebody for who they are, you trust that person to be a liar. You don't trust that person to tell you the truth. When that person ain't never told the truth, you trust that person to be a liar. So when that person opens their mouth, you like, yep, they lying. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. For real? You, okay, cool. You know they lying. You don't expect that from them because they never gave that to you. And I know that seems like a, such an easy thing to understand, but most of, it, most of us don't understand it. Why are you expecting something from someone when they have never gave that to you? Right? There's times in my life where, you know, I expected loyalty from a person when they have never gave that to me. I expected loyalty from a person when they have shown me that they're disloyal. So at some point, I have to stop expecting them to live up to something that they're not capable to live up to. At some point, I have to stop and you have to stop expecting somebody to become who they don't want to become. And I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that we make as human beings, man, that it can make this human being experience better, that can help us protect our peace, that can help us, you know, not live hurt all the time. Like, stop giving people titles that they don't deserve, right? A lot of us we get hurt so much because we're trying to make somebody be who they don't want to become. We're trying to make someone be who they don't want to become. And let's take it a step further. Sometimes we're trying to make somebody be who they ain't even capable of becoming. And then we get let down when they don't live up to that. We get let down when they don't meet the unfair potential that we put on them, that we see in them. And I know you see the good in the person, but again, you got to start seeing the truth in the person. I know you see the potential in the person. But again, if they don't even see the potential in themselves, they never going to do it anyway. You got to start seeing who they're choosing to be. How they're choosing to act, the choices that they're choosing to make. And when you start to like understand that and you trust the person to be who they are and nothing else, it protects the relationship. It protects your peace. You're less stressed out. You're less angry. So there's a lot of people in my life personally that I don't even give them the opportunity to let me down. I don't give them the opportunity to Hurt my heart, not because I have a wall, it's because I have an understanding that that ain't they ain't that, or they are this. I have an understanding that they ain't that. What do I mean by that? They ain't that. They ain't loyal. They ain't, uh, you know, a true friend. They ain't a ride or die. You know what I mean? They ain't a supporter. That's who they are. Some of us are getting mad for at people because, and I understand, right? Some people pretend to be a friend. Some people pretend to get your have your back. Some people pretend to do all these things. People pretend well, trust me. I know. I've experienced that a lot. People pretend well, but once you see who they are, then forget what they're pretending to be. You know exactly who they are. It's like Halloween. Like, you know who's under that mask. Right? They might have a mask on on Halloween, but you know what's under that mask. And it's the same thing in life. Like, yeah, they might be wearing a mask of something, but they've shown you who they are underneath. That's who you got to believe. Not who they show the world. Not who they show you sometimes. You have to know what's under that mask so you don't let yourself down. So you don't keep putting yourself in situations to break your heart. Your expectation of them is to be who they are. Your expectation of them is to be who they are. And when you start trusting that, 
you put your life in a better place. Like, I don't get it when multiple times someone has shown you that they don't have your back. They've shown you like they have jumped in on the on the bash train on your name, right? They love you when it's convenient. They hate you when it's convenient. You've seen it. That person befriended your enemies. That person be talking to your enemies about you. That person be gossip on your name. When people are talking down to you, they never defend your name. So they've shown you who they are. But some of us would still believe that's my friend. Even though everything about their DNA says that's not your friend. Everything about their character says that that's not your friend. Everything about their principle says that's not, they, that's not your friend. But you sit and still believe that that's somebody that's really for you. And then when they show you that they're not for you, you get mad at them. When they already shown you plenty of times what it is. But you, you chose to ignore the reality. You chose to not put them in the category of what they truly should be in. And so what happens in this situation, when you label that person who they are, oh, okay, that's not really my friend. That's maybe an associate. Maybe somebody comes around at a time. I can say hi, bye, keep it short, but they ain't my 2 a.m. That's not somebody I should tell my business to. That's not somebody that's going to give me an ear. That's not somebody that's going to give me a voice when I need a voice of reason. That's not somebody that's going to lead me in the right direction, right? That's, that, that's not who they are. And so you stop expecting that from them. You stop expecting what you want from them and you start expecting who they are. You stop expecting what you want from them. You start expecting what they're giving. You stop expecting what you want from them. You start expecting what they've been showing you. And so now you don't put yourself in a place to be let down because you know who, you, who they are. And so when you get to that point in your life, to that point of you label, I don't want to say label everybody, right? But you get to that point where you don't have certain expectations. You do have certain expectations of people. You understand what it is. Like it's a place of peace. And I believe I'm in that place. Like I don't trip. All right. When somebody comes to me and say, hey, Trent, man, this person said this about you. I'll be like, okay, yeah, that's what that person do. Cool. I ain't tripping. That's who they are. They can't help it. They can't help it that they a sucker, right? They can't help it that they ain't real. They can't help it that they ain't stand up. They can't help it that they lame. They can't help it. Some people can't help it. Like they were raised around lame parents. They seen it like raised around this everything. They can't help it. And a lot of us, what we do, we expect somebody that's lame to be solid. We expect somebody that's fake to be real. All right, we expect somebody that... That, that has no loyalty to have our back, right? We have these crazy expectations. And so when I got to that point in my life, when I started to realize, okay, cool, bang, okay, yeah, I know this, okay, cool. I understood the truth about people. I was even able to move on from certain people in my life. Right, when I was able to label somebody, okay, this person definitely is a sucker. This person definitely ain't who I need in my life. Like they show me this over time consistently, not made a mistake, but made mistakes that were they were choosing to make the same mistakes over and over. It wasn't a mistake, it was a choice. Okay, cool, I can move on from this person because I know who they are. Or if I choose to keep people in my life, it's cool because I know who they are. So I want you to start doing that. Stop letting yourself down. Stop giving the people the opportunity to let you down because you can't be let down when you already know what to expect and they deliver that. You can't be let down when you know what's real. You can't be let down when your hopes ain't high because you see the reality and the truth. But like I tell you at the end of of every single video. It all starts with you. It all starts with you. If you keep accepting it and you keep expecting it and you keep allowing it, don't expect it to be any different. 
Don't expect not to have heartbreak. Don't expect not to have stress. Don't expect not to have anger. The things that you continue to allow in your life that you continue to allow to happen will continue to take place until you put a stop to it. Until you put your foot down and say, listen, it ain't, I ain't rocking like that no more. It ain't going like this no more. And they might not like it. They might make you feel guilty. Like I said, at the beginning of this, this episode, they might try to make you feel guilty. I want to reiterate that because when you make a decision and you put people in a category and they start asking like, how come you don't tell me no, this no more because you run your mouth. You might not say it like that, but you, cause you run your mouth. Why you don't tell me like, why don't we talk like that no more? Because you run your mouth. Because you talk too much? Because you, you tell everybody everything? They might get mad. And they might try to make you feel like the bad person when they did you bad. That's what some people try to do. They'll try to make like you built the wall because you set a boundary when their actions built that wall. Don't let people make you feel bad, wrong, guilty, etc., etc. for doing what is right for you because you better believe this truth. They going to do the same. Share this with somebody. Comment below your biggest takeaway. Follow me on all social media sites. But most of all, man, protect your peace. Respect your life and make the world respect your greatness. My name is Trent Shelton. Let's get it. It's rehab time.